Hey, what's up guys? So I haven't done a guide for a while and it's going to be the last one for 7.3.5 for all the builds that I've used and what I've tested out in arenas, what I'm successful with. Found a good mage killer build for uh, those threes and a good demonic build that you guys might be interested in, but I'm not really good at it. It's been a journey. Honestly, been about a year of me playing this this guy and I ho hopefully you guys enjoy all the content that I put out. You know, I still feel fairly new to the whole YouTube uh, community and the WoW community, but here's some of the several builds that I've been using and what I've been tweaking and when I do when I do arenas, when I do battlegrounds, I never stick with the same build. I'm always changing it up. So I don't have one build, I have... This is just four of... Honestly, I have five different builds and I, I didn't post the last one, but I'll, I'll go through it, guys. So here we go. Now, this is the demonic build. And what you want to do first is kind of build up that fury and once you build up that fury and you continue on building that fury you gotta hit I-beam as you hit I-beam hit nemesis continue on to your burst stun him fury of the Illidari continue on build that fury while you're doing that that runs out you hit metamorphosis and that resets both your chaos nova and I-beam and just continue on doing that wait for it wait for it and then once your meta runs out, hit I-beam again and continue on to your burst. So this is a very, it's a very decent, decent build, but I'm not good at it. It's a lot, there's, a, there's people out there that are really good at it and better time than me. But if you really want to uh, savor those bursts, you could either just do I-beam, continue on hitting them, kind of trick them a little, let them CC you, and then get back on them with Metamorphosis. Or first, stun them and get back on them with Metamorphosis and Nemesis. Continue on to your burst. By then, they've used some of your their CCs. When you do that, you got I-Beam again, so when that runs out, you can just keep on hitting them. And for your Honor Talents, you pretty much just want to follow this this build right here. Um, depending on if you're going against Caster or Melee. I always go with uh, Cover of Darkness over Solitude. But for... Uh, but for... Uh, for melee, you want to go sparring. For casters, you want to go reinforced armor. Rain from above for melee cleave. Detainment for casters. Awaken the demon within. You want to, if you're doing demonic spec, you want that. Eye of Leotheris if it's caster. Unhindering hatred if it's melee cleave. And here's one of my favorite builds. It's the mage kill build. It's the fell barrage and fell eruption. So what I start off with is. In this video, you don't have to start off with Chaos Nova, but I started off with Chaos Nova, get that stun. The Fury of the Eladari, as soon as you stun. Meta, as soon as you meta, you get the, your Fell Barrage and Fell Eruption. And Fell, Fell Blade, spam Chaos Blades. Really strong against RMP, which is Rogue, Mage, and Priest. Alright, and this build is one of my favorite builds. It's a, it's a melee cleave build, so you get Nemesis and Chaos Blades. So what you want to do is... You want to stun, you want to do your meta, and you want to cast your uh, Chaos Blades and Nemesis. And that's a full burst right there. And spam Chaos Strike and Chaos Strike. Now, if you want to save one burst, just hit Chaos Blades and Nemesis. And then do your first burst. And as soon as, like, the, you know, whoever you're attacking, the, the, the defensive spells are done, hit meta. And in that way, you got two bursts. You could use two bursts or you could use the whole thing. Usually I use two bursts in this build, which works very well. And for the Honor Talents, what you want to roll with is pretty much the same thing, only you want you want Gladiator's Medallion, Sparring, Cover of Darkness, Unhindering Hatred, Demonic Origins, Rain From Above. That's for Melee Clee. Now, if there's a caster, you get Detainment out of Rain From Above. And you get Reinforced Armor rather than Sparring. And maybe you get Eye of Leotheris, or you could stay in Unhindering Hatred. It's up to you if you want to try it out. Um, now, if you're going against like a like a monk range, any type of range, you know, I, I like to go here. Get that snare on them. Depending on what I want to do in this arena, depending on what's going on, what I'm going against, and it's it's one of those things where you, you have to keep doing arenas. You gotta you gotta lose a bunch of times in order to learn what to do and that's what I'm that's what I'm learning and 
what different build and I never roll with one the same build over and over I change it up a bit and I'm gonna try to show you I'm gonna try to show that to you guys as well as I can yeah reinforced armor for like range and all that stuff uh, for for melee cleave you want to go sparring um, most likely you want to do cover of darkness which uh, increase the chance of you and the allies to avoid damage while within your darkness effect by 50% unless you're going in solo <laughs> but unless you're gonna be like let's say if you're gonna be on the healer but usually I run with melee cleave I run with a warrior so my group is arms me and either a misweaver monk or a holy pally so that's what I roll with all right moving on Grounds. if you guys want to go walk around battlegrounds you could do it like that a lot, of, a lot of people I know who plays Demon Hunter, I tell them about my build and they, they love it. And sometimes it's good. It, I mean, you could use it in uh, arenas as well. I remember I got... I got in the 1900s CR. So I got 1900 CR with this this build. So you could, you could definitely use it in arenas. You can do you if if you're good with your timing and your team is good with their timing, you, you'll make it up there. But you're only as good as your weakest link. I'm telling you. Yeah. So there it is, guys. Hope uh, hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to put a PVP guide before the expansion comes out. Probably uh, won't be putting out any more guides out there. But this is going to be the last one because I know it's just going to be repetitive. It's going to be the same. So here it is. It's a little different. Got a little bit more skill cap than what I'm doing compared to my other last videos. I try to fit every build in there that I'm good with. Uh, you guys may you know know some some better builds. Well, that's that's, that's cool. <laughs> um, this is just my play style that I enjoy playing. Stay tuned, I have some arenas using uh, Fell, Fell Barrage and Fell Eruption. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.